Hey everybody, it's John Reinhardt here with Reinhardt Group LLC. Today we get the Solvo SVO6, we've got the design flaw, we've got communication to and from Solvo, and we've got a solution. They have sent me a new bed. So I've got a new heat bed here, and we're just going to get this thing installed. There's not many videos on YouTube about how to do this, so it'll be probably one of the first ones. Let's get this thing installed and talk a little bit more about that design flaw and what they've done to fix it. Let's take a look at our Solvo goodie box, what they sent us. All right, it's packaged well. Um, looks like two thick pieces of styrofoam, which is good. I was nervous that I was gonna have to solder these in, but it does not look like I'm gonna have to do any soldering. When we hop in here, I'll show you. I think it's just two screws that we have to unscrew, and I'm gonna plug the yellow cord in. But what's different about this heat bed is the little bracket that they put on right here. The original SV06 does not come with this bracket. A lot more support coming from this new bed, and I'll show you the problem that I'm dealing with here. So I have a bed that keeps shorting out on me. Why does it keep shorting out? The Solvo SV06 that I got did not come with that bracket. There's no bracket there. A zip tie. It is just a small, thin zip tie right there for no reason. Let's get this installed. And you're going to want to start by, this is a magnetic cover. I have to admit that I did not know it was a magnetic cover, even though there are, are fingerprints on it. So if you did not know that, welcome to the club. It's all good. So we'll get our magnetic cover off of there. And underneath our magnetic cover, we're going to have five little Allen key bolts here. We're going to take this off. You want to do your bed first before you start unplugging anything from this little mask box. And once you start unplugging things, it gets pretty complicated in there. As soon as you unplug something, you want to plug something back in. So we're going to get our bed off first and then we'll start unplugging and then replugging back in. And the Allen key that we're going to be using is going to be the third largest one that you get in your little bag. So we'll get all five of these off. Get all five of those out and let's take a look at this. It's also worth noting that there's little spacers that come with each one of these bolts. I'm going to just put them with my bolts. They are not attached to your bed. Just put them over here and we will place them back where they need to be. But you can see right there, I mean, there is, there's no bracket, there's nothing. It is just a zip tie that has allowed my wires to chafe to the point where it just doesn't heat the bed up anymore. And then now it's time to get into our little, little master box, our little fuse panel. Let me get my hat turned around for this one. And you'll see where it says on and off on there. You're gonna use the second biggest Allen key that they give you with the SV06. And we're just gonna plop her in there in a few turns. It should open up just fine. That opened up, let's flip it around. And then you can see in there, what a nightmare. Let's get this disconnected and then reconnected here. Bear with me as I try to explain this mess here. So what we've got, we've got a zip tie that we need to snip right there. You get a pair of snips that come with your little kit. Find your wires here. You got two yellow, a black, and a red. Inside here, you can see the middle ones, the ones that don't have any lettering or anything written on them. Those are your black and red wires. So the second black one down, and then the third red one down are gonna be the wires. And they're just little flathead keys. So you have a, a flathead screwdriver that comes with your kit as well. And then we're gonna trace our yellow wire up way back into here. And you can see it's just something that pulls out. It'll pull right out and then you'll push the new one in. There's nothing that you need to clip or anything like that. Got my new heat board, got my own new little cords here. So we're gonna go ahead and snip our zip tie. Be careful. Well, I guess it don't really even matter because this thing's garbage anyway. All right, that's freed up there. Let's do the yellow first. So we'll get our yellow one. Our yellow one is properly attached. And now it's time to use our little screwdriver here. And we gotta unscrew on those little, they're the bolts that are holding the little electrodiodes in place. We'll go ahead and unscrew those. And it's gonna be the second black one down and then the third red one down here. Black one's in. And then there we have it guys. Everything is completely attached in there. All right, let's get our box button back up here. Be careful not to pinch any of the wires as you're closing this thing back up. Let me do a double, triple check. And then like I said, it's gonna be our second biggest Allen key. There we go, it's buttoned up tight, but not too tight. It's nothing that's gonna come loose or anything like that. And we're gonna take our bed here and ever so carefully slide it through, lay her down, and then let's get our spacers put on and our bed tightened down and we'll see how it works. Now this is gonna be probably the most difficult part of the process here. This is what it's turning out for me. This is like the fifth take that I've had to do of this. So these little spacers, they need to be lined up 100% perfect. There's threading that goes into this black piece right here. So you absolutely have to make sure each spacer is completely perfect over the hole. And then we will try to put our bed over top of it. You cannot set the bed on top of these and then try to move it because it just moves the spacers. This is pretty difficult. We're gonna give her a go here. Just like I said, gotta be careful. And I'm really aiming for this middle one. As long as the middle one's lined up and then I make adjustments to all of them. Okay, so what I did was take 
take a little Allen key and just adjust the spacer from right there to make sure that we're spot on and we can start putting our little screws in here. Ever so carefully, again, try not to make sure you don't bump this bed or anything. This is very delicate right here. And then when you put one in, try to get it just softly tightened there so you can feel the threads. And I'm gonna go in a diagonal pattern here to try to just keep the bed as close to where I need it to be as possible here. Everybody is snug as a bug. That's a great feeling right there. Glad to have that done. That was a that was a nightmare. That was not easy at all. And then we should be good to put our little magnetic cover on here and get things rocking. We got everything back together. The plate is on the bed. Printer is plugged in. Let's turn it on and see what we're gonna get out of it. Hopefully the bed heats up. We are just gonna to go to prepare. Temperature, bed, and let's crank her to 60 degrees. See what we can get out of it. Okay, there's 30 degrees, 31, 32. And then there's 40 degrees. Looks like we are on the up and up here, guys. Really, really exciting. I, I, it really worked. And that's pretty much a wrap for the SV06 design flaw where they send you a bed that has wires that are held in place by a slim, thin zip tie. And that slim, thin zip tie wears on those wires to the point where it shapes them away and it shorts the bed out. And you can even see on one of the yellow wires where it's gotten so hot that it's started to melt the yellow plastic around it. So I am literally begging you, please, 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 check your SVO6s and see if you are dealing with that problem. Make sure that you have some type of support there. Some SVO6s come with them, some don't. The older models definitely do not come with them. I can vouch for that 100%. But you have to make sure that you have some type of support there. You can 3D print a support. I talked about that in my last video. I'll put the link in the description for you to download that. It's a very quick little STL file that you can print and it will it will support those wires. You can take that uh, zip tie right out of there and it works just fine. But for right now, I'm, I'm really happy with the result. If you are having this problem, I don't care how long you've had your SEO6, I genuinely believe that Solvo will just give you a new printer bed. They should have never, ever, ever sent printer beds like this. And the fact that I'm starting to see those wires start to kind of get too hot makes me really think that this is a possible fire hazard as well. So I can't tell you enough to really, really check the printer beds on your SVO6. If you don't want to go through the hassle of getting a new printer bed sent to you, just print that little STL file and it works really, really well. If you guys have any additional questions or you're dealing with any other problems that are just you don't have an answer to please put them in the comment section but for right now this is john reinhardt here with reinhardt group llc thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time